Hello guys and welcome to Let's Play Star Trek Voyager Ooh, four. Hang on a second, just let me get my microphone on Sorry about that guys, I haven't actually put my microphone on yet Um, so, how, how, uh Sorry, excuse me a second, the desk is a bit cluttered uh, yeah, so um, I hope you guys are all okay. Uh, we're um, going to continue from where we left off now. Uh, so a bit of this is going to be um, a video, but uh, let's carry on. I hope you guys can hear me. Oh, Sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble getting the microphone on properly. There we go. Out of my way. Yes, sir. What are you waiting for? Do you mean what am I waiting for? I'm at the door. You're not. Watch your mouth. certain that many of you are curious as to yes. our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkanus gravity well, 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle. You know, back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons That's and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we effect repairs. So, what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear right, to be scavengers is. of some sort, wow. comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> I thought you'd be While your chair, superstitious yeah. beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Because this your game team leader, Lieutenant Foster, drunk. will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? What's his job? All right. <laughs> this is an information gathering mission. 
Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha squad, my group will be in the control room the, uh, A. Squads that we Ensign saw in the Monroe first and Beta squad will be transported to control room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismiss. What's our objectives then? To dig up the room, pick up your weapons, proceed to transport room and Data gathering! I was hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Oh, he will get it. Watch it. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. Don't be so negative, Tells. Yeah, we've, we've not even like been here ten minutes. Try it. Austin. I don't know, Alex. I have a bad feeling about this. So do I, but I'm not making it vocal. That's an excellent simplified map of where we are. That's the hazard room. That's a turbo lift which works. Red, red alerts the whole game, by the way. Well, we're currently there. There's the transporter room and the equipment room is this way. Along with the holodeck. You get to use the holodeck. Excuse me. Need something? You're supposed to talk to me about something, you know. So I... Make sure you try out the new sniper mode on the laser rifle. Those scavenger okay. guns might come in handy. They used a lithium crystal chips for a power source. Most cool. ships use those crystals, so you should be able to find more If you've watched the second video, we have used them before. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. Be careful with those. Is he... That's not your weapons in the holodeck here behind me. I told you we got to use it. Initiating program, high noon. Remember me, yeah, key pattern so far in this video. So let's hope that continues. Begin. Neutralize all 15 enemies. Well, 
mission and an intelligence gathering mission too hey relax ken there'll be plenty of other missions uh yeah ken they're just saving the best for last <laughs> Ms. misdirect while we have some Talk extra time them. i thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time thank you for hearing this i think no, i am well, well prepared i'm going to say i did go through extensive training off. and testing for this position of course well let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh, Good luck, Monroe. Now, now everybody should be in the transport room. There's our team. Out of my Brilliant. way. Brilliant. I shall stand next to Chell because Chell is awesome. Come on, he's bowling. Bowling and awesomeness. That guy dies. Energize. However, we will continue this, Alex, next time on Let's Play Star Trek Voyager. That's the end of this video, and next time we'll uh, go aboard the alien ship control room B and uh, see just how easy it is to extract information. Thanks for watching! <laughs>